Hi everyone! It's starting! <laughs> Welcome to the official uh, release of Shed My Skin video. Um, welcome to the to the YouTube live chat. Um, you send in some uh, uh, questions, so I'm going to answer them for you guys. Um, hi, Fraukje. <laughs> um, Amelia is here as well. Yeah, Emily is here. Yay! <laughs> Thanks. Um, Don't tell tomorrow. There's a yeah 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 yeah. yeah 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 i know i know not only the the, the video is going live in only a half hour of, of course but also the aftermath is starting tomorrow so guys i hope you all have your tickets because it's going to be amazing um well <clears throat> i think i'm going to start because uh, i only have a half hour to answer these questions hi everyone who's joining in now <laughs> i see someone from canada um Someone who's called Sausage Custard, Rodrigo, Simba, Paolo. Thank you for coming all to this um, uh, live YouTube moment of the release of our new, um, new video of Shed My Skin. And of course, to talk a little bit about tomorrow's show, the aftermath and the day after tomorrow, there's going to be the second one. Okay, um, I'm going to answer some questions, guys. Um, here we go. Who came up? That's Jillian. She asked, who came up with the idea for a post-apocalyptic setting? Well, you know, it's something, um, when you're in a pandemic, of course, you start thinking about these kind of things. And Robert and I had a lot of conversation about what, you know, what is going to be the future and everything. Of course, that's, this is, of course, very much far away from reality. But um, eventually we started talking about post-apocalyptic kind of uh, situations. And Robert has always been fascinated about it. And I, th I think he really came up with that idea. So eventually when we started out um, uh, for this um, uh, aftermath show, um, the post-apocalyptic thing was something we really felt was really uh, a necessary thing or something that really fits uh, fits um, the environment and the, and the pandemic kind of atmosphere we're in, like thinking ahead of what will be in the future. So that's your answer, uh, Gillian. Uh, Artsy Ave asked me like, what is the most memorable thing that happened during the filming of the aftermath? Well, you know, it's a bit strange because we were in the middle of the pandemic, of course, still. And while we were doing that, um, so we had to do all these tests constantly. We we're constantly busy with that. Um, and it was a bit weird being with so many people in the same room, but still having to wear all those masks, of course, and these, doing these tests constantly for days. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's necessary, of course. But so that's one of the things that will be very typical for this time of, uh, that we're living in. So um, I think we never had to do that before, of course. So. Uh, and then what's also memorable, that's also seeing everybody um, during the show, you know, during the recordings, the whole band was there. And um, yeah, it was really good to see each other. And so that was really a lot of fun. And Jasper Stavling came over. So it was a lot of things happening uh, during the days we were um, recording these kind of things and um, being together for, the, for this Aftermath show. Um, so... If you have questions, please send them to uh, in the in the YouTube because Caroline will pick them up and send them to me. Um, I have some other questions here already written down for, from people who were uh, who sent them in earlier. Uh, Ellen Hesseling, in the final trailer of the FMF, we see you wearing a metal kind of face dec decoration. Is this something you're planning to wear more often on other shows? You used to wear back in the days with uh, with like stickers or paint on your face. Uh, maybe because I do think it was a very nice accessory, <laughs> but it's not very comfortable. I couldn't move my mouth very well and I had to sing at the same time, of course. We recorded everything live and so uh, that was a bit difficult and um, but maybe something similar is maybe something we'll do in the future. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, Emmanuel Del Ferraro asked me, like, what do you think about a rock band winning the Eurovision Song Contest here in Rotterdam? Well, that's not a, song, a question, of course, about the video or the aftermath, but I'll answer it anyway. I think it's pretty amazing. You know, um, of course, they're not the first, but it's really, really something that's cool. It means that rock and roll is still alive. Huh? 
metal rock whatever it is it's uh, it's cool that they won yeah totally okay um i'm gonna look for more questions because i've gotten more um let me see okay um so how are you doing guys i'm looking for questions here as well can you cure my music whoops i don't know um okay it's only only how long it is it's it's like 20 minutes more guys and then the video is going to be live of shed my skin don't miss out watch it um somebody's asked me the new album marcia uh asking about the new album hopefully next year at the end of next year probably somewhere there might be a new album if we get everything done in time i don't want to be saying again soon 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 <laughs> like we always do so hopefully somewhere there and and, and that's corner of the year that will be bringing out releasing a new album so um Caroline, if you're watching this, please send those new questions to Robert's phone. Yes, I hear um, Ombra is asking, do you miss the fans? Are you missing us? Of course we are missing you guys. Uh, Pola is asking me, does Shed My Skin describe the whole genre of your upcoming album? Well, you know, the th whole thing about the songs that we're writing right now are about writing in the moment. And it might be that the, the songs will be a bit different, but could be also that it, it does continue because we're in a certain vibe. And I must say all the three songs that we have released so far are very much connected to each other, more or less. And um, so there will always be a red line there. But of course, there are always songs that will be a bit different. And But we haven't written any other songs yet, guys. So. We're working on it, uh, hoping to write an, a complete album as soon as possible for you guys to enjoy. Okay, um, Agnes is asking me, how does it feel to perform in front of a green screen? <laughs> Very difficult because you don't know what's going to be there. Of course, we saw pictures and everybody, everybody was, um, you know, preparing us for what's going to be in the future on uh, the, the green screens. But we had to imagine a lot. And also you guys, you know, the interaction. There's no interaction, but we were thinking ahead and just imagining imagining you guys there. So, um, so that's how it feels. It's a bit strange. Um, Agnes, uh, I already did. Uh, Lucas, you are constantly working on the World's Collide Tour in terms of additional elements you will bring on stage. New technologies will, uh, will you implement? Um, and what kind of new technologies will you implement? Well, we try to do innovative stuff always, uh, getting inspired by things we see. And, um, you know, it can be like moving parts of the, the, the stage or something like that. Or, you know, it's, it's, it's the things that we think will add something to the visual uh, aspect of our show. So um, we have already finished everything about that by the, for the World's Collide Tour, but we might do new things still because we still have new ideas and we have still so much time yet. <laughs> um, Kina, is the aftermath something you would do more often afterwards? Uh, well, uh, the aftermath, well, the, the, the virtual reality show, yes, of course, because it is, you know, you can make any kind of thing in virtual reality. And that's the most amazing thing about it. Uh, it inspires us. It's, uh, you know, it's very creative because possibilities are endless. And um, we might, if this, if people like it, we'll do this in the future again. So um, I hope you guys will like it. <laughs> Uh, Mark is, how hard was it to select the set list? Uh, well, when we had the uh, post-apocalyptic kind of setting in our mind, it wasn't that hard because we have a lot of songs which are a bit gloomy and dark and everything. And a lot of thing, things are about, you know, uh, the environment and mankind and how we live. And um, so I think it wasn't that hard. Uh, we uh, have a lot of things also from The Sign of Force and other albums uh, that, that we felt like that really fitted this setting. So yeah, it wasn't that hard. It's a very uh, diverse set list, I must say. A lot, of course, new songs will be there and a song like Forsaken. And, but the rest you'll have to figure out. You know, one song won't be there and that's Ice Queen. 
don't ask me why, but we played it so many times. It was nice also to play some other songs. Um, and I think uh, it's nice to surprise you guys with a nice set list. Um, Mark, even kijken, ja, dat was Mark. Miguel, uh, tomorrow's outfits, what is your inspiration for them? Well, we felt like because it's such an epic kind of event, uh, they need to be epic as well. So uh, I chose uh, three or four, I'm not sure anymore. Uh, epic kind of dresses, so um, I hope you like them. And they're pretty new, so... Um, <laughs> yes, Forsaken, Marco, I'm really happy that you're happy. <laughs> Hi everyone who's just joining us. Thanks for coming here for the release of our new video, Shed My Skin. And of course, to talk also about tomorrow's event, uh, the aftermath. I hope you're going to enjoy that, guys. I hope you get your tickets because it's going to be really amazing. Um, something different. Uh, Tan is asking me, uh, what do you think about... What do you think you learned about life in general when you spent so much time with family during this pandemic? Um... Well, um, what have I learned? Well, it's it's um, it was very. I was really happy with the time that I spent with my family, but also how much I miss, of course, sometimes to be on the road with the guys because you don't see your other family. That's your tour family, of course. But it, it was um, it's the other it's the other side of the uh, of the spectrum, you know. Like I'm a lot on the on the road mostly, and then you know you miss your family. And now was the <laughs> the other way around. I was really a lot with my family, and I I was really having a really good a great time. But I also missed my other family on tour and you guys, of course. Okay, um, Chloe, how was your birthday? Well, thank you for asking. Thank you, by the way, for all the birthday messages. <laughs> um, because of all the craziness around the aftermath, I didn't get really time to, to say thank you. Thank you for all those birthday wishes and fan art you made. So, mwah, mwah, mwah. thank you. And uh, Yajal, uh, Fernanda's asked me, what is your favorite song to sing? Hi from Brazil. Uh, well, uh, my favorite song, I must say that Shed My Skin, I know it's a new song, but it really challenges me because it goes from really high, extremely high <laughs> to extremely low. Uh, so that's a really challenge for me, but, um, I, and I like that because I like to go to every height and every depth of my uh, range so it, it really challenges me so i was re i'm really enjoying that singing that in the studio and uh, yeah so I'm, I'm hoping to sing it for you guys live <laughs> and of course we did for the aftermath hi everyone who's just joined us for the live uh, ship my skin video release um and to talk also about the aftermath show which will be tomorrow of course um Thank you for all the birthday wishes still. Uh, I just said it already, but a lot of people are joining again now. Um, shout out. Less than thin, 15 minutes until the premiere of the video. Shed my skin, of course, guys. Are you ready? <laughs> Let me see if I missed some, um, some questions. Here is another one. On Cold Wings, what venues are you most looking forward to play again? You know, there's so many, it's not really the venues always, it's more the cities and the countries because every culture is different and people are different when they're watching, you know, uh, from people who are very silent but intense, in, intensely enjoying themselves, but then, you know, more silently to people who are really all over the place, jumping and stuff. It's in a beautiful and different way. So I'm looking forward to the tour, you know, I want to just play. <laughs> it's been such a long time. Um, Kina, between the purge, shed my skin and entertain you, which music video do you like the most? I think the purge, yeah, it was, uh, because, uh, well, it had a little bit of that old feel and I liked this bit, bit of darkness in there, but you know, um, I do all like them, but I think the purge was probably my favorite. Got to wear a nice dress and everything, you know. <laughs> girls will be girls. Um, Ellen, what do you 
what can we expect from the aftermath tomorrow? What do you think of the show? I think it's gonna be mind blowing, especially because of the fact that we've done it in a different way and a very uh, epic way. You know, epic way like the worlds are really beautifully. There's a lot of a lot of um, movement, a lot of a light show. It's very big and grandiose. So I think it's a, a new stepping stone of how you can do this. I think everybody did it in their own way and we did it as well. And for us, it's a nice way to explore again how to get in in, in uh, to get ourselves out there uh, on the live stream, but then in an epic way that suits the, our music, I guess. So, uh, Caroline, send me more questions. <laughs> I'm ready for them. <laughs> uh, Ellen, what can we expect from the aftermath? Oh, that's already done. Jenny, uh, can you already say what the highlight of the show will be? Is there any song you already love? You already love? Well, I must say that um, I think that uh, Firelight is going to be also a big surprise because how they uh, well how it works out in the in in the, in the, in the aftermath it's going to be so amazingly beautifully done i think you'll probably that will be one of the highlights i guess so uh, be sure not to miss that song as well um more questions more questions guys it's only 10 minutes uh marcel hi sharon you collaborated with anisoke on shed my skin that's so cool i totally agree are there any other bands you recommend Oh my God, that's, uh, pff, I'm really bad at names. So I really had to go into my Spotify list. Maybe, you know, I'll post that later uh, or maybe not, not today, but maybe very soon, soon again. Um, and I'll send you my favorite band that I'm listening to now. Maybe that's good, a good idea to do. So I'll come back to that. Um, I don't know if I <laughs> pronounce his name right. Joam Sancho Ginard. Uh, who enjoyed the most... Who enjoyed the most touring with? Oh, oh, oh my God. You know, everyone we toured was special in a way. Um, I think we've always chosen or to be with people that, you know, that, that connect with our band, not only musically, but also personally. So um, there's never been something that wasn't working for us. So I'm really happy with all the bands that we have toured with. I hope maybe, maybe, you know, um, there will be, uh, Maybe Anasoka wants to tour with us maybe in the future. That would be cool. <laughs> I hope they'll join us somewhere, if possible. Um, Sarah, are you looking forward to your shows with Iron Maiden? Yes, most definitely. They're amazing and still are big heroes from us, for us. Um, so we're still big fans of them, you know, and it's not just only playing ourselves, but playing with a band you like that much is amazing, of course. Oh my God, only nine minutes, guys. Luca. How was it to work with Taya again on the aftermath? Well, you know, it's always amazing to work with Taya because she's such a positive person and she goes 120, no, 200% into everything with passion. So always a pleasure. Um, Renacito, will you ever sing in Spanish? I might, you know, I'm working on my Spanish actually, uh, <laughs> but I don't know if I dare to sing because I probably have an accent, but you know, you know, Robert speaks really fluently. So maybe he can teach me a little bit better with the pronunciation. Uh, Miguel Angelo, uh, will you play the howling in the aftermath show? Maybe, maybe not. You have to watch. See you tomorrow. Uh, oh my God. Time goes fast. Eight minutes, guys. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Alina, Sharon, little time with Aftermath. Uh, little time until Aftermath. So exciting. Love the new dresses. Can't wait to see them all well. We're, uh, we're, were they a bit more confident, those from the Elements show? Yeah, they were much more ca uh, more comfortable than the Element Show dresses because the one that I had on, for, for, if you remember, is one that was made of metal. And that was pretty painful, actually, and I had to wear it quite long. So, um, <laughs> for a long time. So, I was really happy with these dresses. They were more comfortable, but I also had these, I have these wings on, on the Aftermath Show. And they were really scratching on my back. <laughs> so, it was really pretty painful. It's like a wooden stick on your back, and every move I made was like... <laughs> 
wasn't that comfortable either. But you know, if you want to look pretty, you have to suffer. That's a, a Dutch say, saying anyway. I don't know if you, if you have that one as well in English, but <laughs> anyway, uh, another question. Sharon from Nelson, this is uh, one is Nelson Mota. How do you feel about this connection with the fans around the world on internet? It's wonderful to interact with you live. Greetings from Brazil. Well, of course, for me, it's amazing to be able to do this at least. And uh, to see all these questions like how you're thinking about these kind of events. And um, it's nice to be in contact. You know, we need human contact more than, than this. This is still too much distance to, for, my, for my taste. But um, yeah, it's great that you're here, guys. Thanks. Uh, baby Ant, uh, have you gotten the COVID shot yet? Yes. The day, before, yes uh, be the day before my birthday, I got the second vaccination. And on my birthday, I was pretty sick, actually. <laughs> Felt like I had a ver ver very uh, heavy flu. But now I'm back on the grid. I'm feeling totally okay, so thanks. Um, Michelangelo again. Uh, would you come back to Portugal again soon? I hope so. I hope we'll be able to. Uh, if, uh, if there's a festival that will ask us, we will be coming, of course. Yes. Looking forward to coming to Portugal. It's a beautiful country. Uh, Dennis, uh, do you have plans to tour the US when, is it, uh, when it's safe again to travel? Yes, we are uh, looking forward to come back again. And it's just a matter of time probably. But uh, I don't know when because we still have to catch up so many other things. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of festivals that are uh, postponed next year. And also, of course, the World Collide Tour. So fingers crossed, but we, but we will be back. Guys, only five, five minutes to the release of our video, Shed My Skin. And uh, we are still here with you guys to talk about that and to talk about the Aftermath show tomorrow. Okay, uh, Mangsita, Man Mangsita, can you tell us more about the concept of the Aftermath show? Well, it's, well, I think we have explained that a few times already, but it's, it's, um, it's um, the concept of four worlds, uh, like it's a journey from what we have done with the earth and then uh, end conclusion. But you'll have to watch the show and you'll get it. Okay, um, any more questions? Rodrigo. Rodigo, Rodigo, I'm sorry, hope I pronounced that right. How long did it take to create and record the Aftermath show? Well, we have been working on it for months and actually the last things are done today. So, <laughs> working until the end, until the show starts and then it's finished. And uh, so it's, uh, it's a lot of work, a lot of effort and lo a lot of love went into that. So don't forget it. It really was a big project, a lot of technical problems, but still all what they were solved and uh, in time, only one week of postponement. And uh, so I was really happy about that. Uh, David, are we going to see... The Sharon dance, the Sharon dance on the aftermath. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> so, well, guys, how many? Much time do we have? Three minutes. Three minutes only. Okay. Yes, three minutes more, Caroline. I've said it. <laughs> you look, guys. I'm getting um, my instructions by the telephone, and also your questions. Um, last shout outs. Well, yeah, uh, Jennifer. Uh, will Robert be in the Aftermath show? No, unfortunately not. <laughs> um, well, guys, I really hope you're going to see the show tomorrow. Thank you for being here and joining me with this uh, last uh, few questions. And before the uh, release of the video, Shed My Skin. Um, last, last, uh, last question of Haim Gubi. Do you need VR glasses? No, you don't need VR glasses. You can watch the show as it is. No worries. Bring more, Caroline. We have three more minutes. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, um, I hope. Yeah. Be ready for the for the for the video of Shut My Skin. The live release is going to be right now in only a few minutes, so you have time to go over and watch the video. I hope you like it, leave your comments, and I also hope you're gonna be watching the Aftermath show tomorrow. 
and um, love to you all hope you'll be fine and thank you so much for being here and watching the show tomorrow um, see you soon hopefully somewhere in this universe on some kind of stage in real life thank you so much guys still got two minutes so bring it on let me see if i see something here um See you tomorrow, Hans, uh, Nikki. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Go check it out, the video, Shed My Skin. It gets you a bit of an example of what you're going to see tomorrow for the aftermath. So take care, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, bye-bye.